What's up you guys, Stealthy RS here once again with another video just for you. In today's video, I'll be discussing with you just how bad the head gasket issue is on this Focus RS. Well, just how bad is it, a lot of people ask. Well, it's bad. Or is it just a YouTube curse? Because all the main YouTubers with the Focus RS, such as Feza and Mark Cup 70 have all had to have their engines replaced. They've all gone through this problem. Luckily, I haven't yet. And luckily, there's a recall, so I won't have to go through that issue. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It really makes a lot of people just want to get rid of the RS to avoid the headache. I think it's a little more than just a YouTube curse. Why do I say that? Well, for one, an engine should not blow within 10 to 15,000 miles, regardless of modifications or not. There's a ton of people on Instagram and YouTube who's had this problem without any modifications whatsoever. It's actually having people shy away from modifying their vehicle. The RS platform is meant to modify. So I'm waiting for the recall and then we're gonna modify this. I myself have been hesitant to modify the RS because I don't want to be voiding my warranty when there's a known issue. You guys we're under an underpass. You know what that means. That means bang, bang, bang. As soon as this traffic can move. Bang, 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 I'm wet. It's funny how my daughter has more fun with me in this car than I probably do myself. So just why is there an issue with the head gasket and the Focus RS? Why is it causing problems with the engine? Why is it causing the head to fail? Well, Ford made a big mistake. They use the same head gasket that they're supposed to use on the Mustang EcoBoost. This isn't a Mustang. It's a Focus RS. So hopefully they get it right this time and put the right head gasket in because people are getting tired of this issue. We just paid $50,000 for a Focus RS to expect no issues. And we're, there's plenty of issues going around. Is there a reason to be upset about this problem? Well, absolutely there is. Am I upset with this problem? Well, of course I am. I shouldn't have to worry about my engine blowing with less than 5,000 miles after spending $50,000 on a car. And I'm actually just cruising through the Walmart parking lot here by my house because sometimes there's a little car made here and I never catch it while I'm in the right car. And there's no car made. All right, you guys, so I'm done ranting because it seems, or at least I hope, that Ford has the right fix for the RS. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments or suggestions that you may have in the comments section below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Until next time, I'm checking out.